inspired by sound. another inspired by sound it's lovely to have you all here how are you all doing great glad to hear that i'm doing great myself thank you it's been a little while since we've been here together last but today i'm very very excited to tell you about piano tech 7.4 piano tech 7.4 why is it exciting because it's juicy get it j-u-c-e-y anyway if you don't you soon will juice is from what I understand it, and I'm not a programmer, so I may get this terminology wrong and the understanding a bit wrong, a platform on which plugins are built. But until recently, Juice has not been of the accessible bent, you see. But now Juice has become accessible and more plugin developers are upgrading to the new accessible Juice version. This has countless benefits for us, and today we're going to discuss one of them. I warn you in this video, this is not a video necessarily that I think my sighted audience will enjoy because you will hear lots of computerized speech as I take you through the interface from a blind person's perspective. But if you do want to stick around, I do hope you will at least find it vaguely interesting. I'm in Logic Pro 10.6.2, I think. And although I'm running Pianotech 7.4 inside of complete control, you do not need to run inside of complete control to gain access to these features. So if you're a standard Logic user without complete control access, or a Pro Tools user, or a Reaper user, or any other DAW, you should be able to use Pianotech 7.4 with its accessibility features without much fuss. There's a train passing outside and it's very noisy. So this first track that we're on now is one of those I prepared earlier. This is called Onj's Jazz, or ONJ's Jazz. And it's based on the Steinway New Age preset, which I will show you a bit later on. Warning, this is not a walkthrough video. This is nothing like that. I'm just going to explore the interface and talk to you a bit about it and how having accessibility in an interface like this is one of these wonderful game changes that we are coming to expect from the music industry right now. We're in a time of immense flux and change, and I'm very, very glad to see it. Not every uh, plugin is written in Juice, of course, so not everything can take advantage of it, but those that can we're seeing some great changes. So to Piano Tech 7, I've got two tracks here. This first one, as you hear. And underneath, Track two, Piano Tech 7. I have another preset and I will, I won't do it by complete control actually. Let's look in the Piano Tech interface and we'll see what the preset name is because I loaded it via complete control, but that doesn't matter. In fact, it matters the least for today's video. Let's open up the Piano Tech 7 interface now. Piano Tech 7 dialog. Piano Tech 7 dialog. And if I go to the end of the window, um, I've got, by the way, for those using Logic, I've got Logic in Editor View because you need it in Editor View for this. You do not need it in Controls View. It's very important. So let's go to the end of the window. Juice application group. And if I interact with this Juice application, let's just explore the window using speech and I won't read out what it's saying unless, um, well, unless you can't understand it. In Juice Note Edit button. The Note Editor. Morphing slash Layers button. Options button. Help button, previous preset button, current preset, ant, Petrov 275 button. So the preset, ant, Petrov 275. So I can change it and adjust it, but we're going to go through the rest of the interface and see what else we can see. Next preset button, open preset manager button, save preset button, copy dialog button, paste button, freeze dialog button. By the way, VO, Shift and H at these points will read out help tags if they're available. Freeze some parameters so that they are not changed when you switch to another preset. Hold the button for one second or right click to toggle this feature on or off. Wonderful. Randomize button. The randomize button is incredibly fun and we're going to talk about that later. It's my, probably one of my favorite things about this whole interface. Yes, I know there's accessibility built in and I'm talking about a randomize button, but you'll see why. Undo button, redo button, a slash B preset switch button, a slash B copy button, tuning panel group, voicing panel group, design panel group, sound recording button. Sound recording button. 
there are two of these. One of them opens up kind of a place where you can adjust parameters. And the other one, this one, I think, is the one with the help tag. View and modify the microphones, only available for sound recording and binaural configurations. So you can change the piano to a binaural sound and all sorts of other things. Velocity panel, group. Velocity panel. Extra settings panel, group. Limiter switch, selected, toggle button. 0 dB. Volume, slider. 40 dB. Dynamics, slider. Pedal 1, button. Pedal, pedal three, pedal four. Button. There are four of these, just quickly going over these, although they all have help tags, so look. The sustained pedal lifts the dampers, letting the strings ring after the keys are released. Right click on the pedal in order to assign it to another parameter. Panic button. This one. Stop all sound, release all keys and pedals, and reset the audio in MIDI drivers. Zero. Condition slider. The condition slider is very funny. Chord detected, none text. No chord detected. Now, sometimes this reads and sometimes it doesn't. If I play a chord on this, then occasionally it will tell me what the chord was that I played. But sometimes if I play another chord after it, it doesn't change that. Now, I don't know if it does on screen, so I will play a chord and maybe we can, uh, someone in the comments can tell me later if the chord changes on screen. Zero. Chord detected. None text. See, it says none, but I have had it change, so I don't know if that's an accessibility issue or not. But I'm not here to put it down, by the way, just to just to query what's happening. Keyboard group. There's the keyboard. Keyboard group. And I think this is the way you can uh, do like an on-screen test if you don't have a keyboard connected, as but we do. So we've had a look uh, through the interface, and of course there's lots and lots more than that. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. All sorts of buttons and options and panels you can open, and all sorts of very interesting stuff. So let's go from the top again. Note edit button, morphing slash layers button. Let's not start with that. Options, help button, previous preset, current preset, and header of 200 and next preset button. Let's try the preset keys and see what they do. All right, I've changed the preset. What does it say? Current preset and Petrov recording one button. Okay, so we're still in the Ant Petrov. This is the recording preset. And if I press it again. And Petrov recording one. Ah, I actually clicked on the wrong thing. So Tubular Bells original. Oh, okay, so we can now see the preset. I clicked on the name of the preset and this brings up a Tub Tubular Tubular Bells Tubular Bells Minor. Tubular Bells Minor. Tubular Bells Major. Tubular Bells Original. Tubular Bells Original Tracks Group. So we're in Tubular Bells. By the way, for those of you who Tracks maybe group. don't know, I've lost the interface. Why have I lost the interface? Come back into Piano Tech 7. Thank you. That was nice. Piano Juice Application Induced Morphing. There we go. For those of you who don't know about Piano Tech, um, it's a physically modeled sound. So th there's no samples really. Uh, you might have pedal release and key release samples, but the actual piano and all the instruments in here are physically modeled. And that is really, really interesting stuff. So, get some really cool tones and all sorts of freaky, strange things when you do that. Um, I like it. I like how it sounds, and some things sound better than others, of course. Um, but yeah, my favorite new, my honestly, my new favorite piano is the one I made, the ONJ's Jazz Piano preset that I modeled from this time my new age. Now, I wonder if I can get there. Should we have a go? Uh, I have looked at this interface before, by the way but I'm kind of, I didn't want to go too deep into it because I wanted to, to do it on camera so you could kind of experience it with me. So I didn't really have much to go on. I just looked at it so I knew it worked. Uh, so if we have any fumbles or anything, they're not going to be edited out because you know I don't edit my videos. What you see is what you got uh, get. And what happens to me is what you see. Um, I believe in the human aspect of videos. A lot of people just go through and just cut out all the bad bits. If there are bad bits, you're going to see them with me. Sharing my misery. So let's go. Up, pre next pre previous preset. Next preset. Open preset manager. But I want the preset manager. Close presets manager. But All right. What we got? Preset list table. Rows 407 to 407 or 630 selected. Just a few presets then. 630 presets. Not very many. View mini presets button. Edit text. Browse add-ons button. All instruments button. Instrument lists group. All right. Instrument list. What can we do In here? Instrument Steinway D N Y button. Steinway D H B button. Okay. So we let's pick the Steinway, Steinway D, D N Y. And now I think out of instrument list. If I go back to the preset list over here, edit tech view mini preset list table. In preset list table, level one, column one, row one. NY Steinway D wide unison outline row. Okay. NY Steinway D prepared outline row. Yeah, we can see this. NY Steinway D honky tonk. So I'm looking for the NY Steinway D new age. So let me have a look and see if I can find this. NY Steinway D super. NY Steinway D warner. NY Steinway D ruined. NY Steinway D hybrid. ONJ's jazz outline row. 
Outline row. Outline row. One updated item. NY Steinway D Studio Rick. NY Steinway D Bass and Pier. NY Steinway D Gentle Out. NY Steinway D Warm Out. NY Steinway D Cinematic. NY Steinway D Close Mic. NY Steinway D Player Wide Out. NY Steinway D Player Clean. NY Steinway D Underlid Out. NY Steinway D Wide Unison. NY Steinway D Prepared Out. NY Steinway D Hunky Tarn. NY Steinway D Super Tank Out. NY Steinway D Worn Out Out. NY Steinway D Ruined Out. One updated item. One updated item. So I think NYONJ's Jack must, NY Steinway D hybrid outline row. Must be one of these one updated oh. items. I feel like it's it's going over it and not allowing me to click it. NYONJ's Jack NYONJ's Jazz out NY Steinway D hybrid. So I'm going to cheat in this instance because I can't seem to get to the one I actually want. So I'm going to use complete control to do it. But just forgive me this, if you will, because it's just I know it it will work. Preset and Petrov two hundred and seventy five. So what I'll do is I'll pick the bank. Bank all banks. Celeste. Hona. Crimes. Steelpen. Steinway B. Steinway D. Okay, there we go. And then if I scroll, did I favorite it? Pre HB Steinway D just HB Stein NY Steinway D felt. NY Stein NY Steinway D gentle. NY Steinway D just NY Steinway D just recording. NY Steinway D new age. That's NY the one. Steinway D new age outline row. So this is the priest that I based my piano off of, if you can believe it. With lots of reverb and everything. And if I go back to my original, just push the key up, you'll hear it. By the way, like I said, these issues and things that we face, this is the very first accessibility build ever released. So there are going to be problems. I'm not here to cover them up and I'm not here to edit them out. So what you saw then was me having a problem with it. 36 dB. And I had to kind of just deal with it the best way I could. So um, you may not find this. Your mileage will and may vary, or may and will vary. Uh, but now we've got that loaded at least. So uh, what can we do? Well, there's effects on this. We could turn it off via the keyboard, but I'm, I tried, apart from this one time, to assume that you don't have complete control and you're doing this in a DAW that doesn't have complete control or NY don't have a keyboard. So what can we do with this? N NY out of preset, view many presets, pre close, close presets, manage. Well, let's close this for now. Open preset, preset. Let's button. go and have a look around. Copy, paste, freeze, random, undo, redo, a slash, a slash, tuning, voicing panel, group, design panel, group. What's in here? In design panel, group, 1.00. Cut off, slider, 1.00. Impedance, slider. And does it have help? The greater the soundboard mechanical impedance, the longer the sound becomes. Okay. 1.00. Cut off 1.00 Q factor slider 2.67 meters string length slider. The string length is quite interesting to mess with. In slider, can I mess with it? Turn it up. 2.3.3.5.3.8 It comes like a very long and fat sound. 10.00 meters. It's quite warm in a way. Octave minus one. Never take the meter slide all the way down. Come on, all the way down. We drop it, drop it. All right. That's very weird. It's a very strange sound when it's that tiny. Outdoor slider. And if we look at the uh, help text for this meter. A parameter which greatly affects the timbre and the tuning is the inharmonicity. At high inharmonicity, the piano sounds more or less like a bell. Inharmonicity decreases very rapidly with string length. You can choose up to a 10 meter long piano. At such a length, there is almost no inharmonicity. Right, so what I'm going to do with this one so I can play it and change it at the same time is interact with the slider. In slider. Enable quick nav. Quick nav on. And then move the slider with my. Like this. 0 0.89 meters. 2.2, meters. So we've got out of the bell territory. Let's go back. meters. That's very interesting sound. Just so bizarre. Quite bizarre, but I like it somehow. Quick nav off. So I'm going to leave that row it is for now. Out 1.20. Sympathetic resonance slider. The sympathetic resonance. 1.00. Duplex scale resonance slider. Don't know what this does. What does it help tag say? Adjust the weight of the duplex scale resonance. Adjust the weight of the duplex scale resonance. That still doesn't really clue me into what it does. So I'm just going to mess with it because one the whole point of six plugins is mess with it and see what happens or whether it changes the sound in any meaningful way. What I'm going to say, though, is the, f the fact that this is so doable now, 
Um, and although we're looking at stuff that you might find in controls view, the fact that we can do this in the editor view, uh, for logic users anyway, because I think that Pro Tools doesn't distinguish between editor and controls view, from what I understand, could be wrong, um, is fascinating to me. And there are things that you couldn't do in controls view in any plugin um, that just make this thing look really cool. And uh, I'm enjoying it. Out of zero, 1.00s. Looming inertia slider. One point out of the sound recording button. Sound recording. Dip voicing panel. Group. Voicing panel. In voice zero point two seven. Hammer hard. Piano slider. Oh, the, the hardness of the hammers. Let's try and adjust zero, this zero, up zero, somewhere. Zero point eight seven. With our new bell zero, piano. <laughs> One point five five. Fun. That is quite bizarre, isn't it? I'm going to mute speech. Speech muted. I'm going to turn on quick nav and I'm going to take the hammer hardness down while playing. Now it's at its lowest. I'm going to take it all the way up if I can. It's all right, I see where we're at because I don't speech know. Out of zero two point zero zero. Hammer so hard. quite hard hammers. Minus one. Odd sound, isn't it? Full of reverb zero and strangeness. Zero point eight five. Hammer hard. One point right. five zero. Hammer hard. Zero dB. Spectrum profile one. Vert one oh, point. Hang on. Zero one two. Point. Adjust the hammer hardness at three different velocities: piano, mezzo forte, and forte. The harder oh, the first more brilliant the sound becomes. Brilliance is a very important. So I only did one of the hammer hardnesses. The very lowest layer. So the harder you hit it, the um, the softer it actually becomes to play. That's actually quite funny. 2.2.0.1.5. Oh, I've got, I've got, oh, okay. Lowest layer is hard. hard. Uh, middle layer is normal and the top layer is actually one. So, um, yeah, I kind of messed that up, but it doesn't matter. The fact that you can do it is fun. <laughs> okay. Zero dB. Spectrum profile four. These spectrum profiles um, are complicated and very strange, um, but let's see. Adjust individual intensity of the first eight overtones. Many piano manufacturers avoid having a strong seventh overtone. Yeah, see, there's a lot of scientific and scary stuff in here that I, I'm not going to pretend to be able to understand. Uh, but the fact that you can change it, if you can't see, is better than 7.3, where you couldn't change any of it. Zero, 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 1.00. Hammer noise slider. Okay, hammer noise. 1 slash 9.5. Strike point slider. Strike point. In slider. Let's move the strike point. We'll do the same as I did before. Speech muted. Speech muted and quick now. all the way to the left. Let's move it all the way to the right. That's a really interesting noise. I've never messed with this before, by the way. Just saying. I haven't had a need to. Um, but yeah, I saved a lot of what I wanted to do uh, for camera, just for fun. Speech what? Just so zero point three zero. Soft level slider. Just crazy. Zero point caps lock out of caps lock off. Design panel group. That rings a lot, doesn't it? Hear that? I've got my foot on the sustain pillar. It's just going and going and going and going and going, and I love it. All right, now why don't we go over here? For tuning a slash b a slash redo undo randomize button. Let's mess with the random button because it is honestly some of the most fun you can have. Now I don't know how many of the parameters it messes with when you do this. I know it does a lot of them. So that's changed. I don't even know how many of these parameters. And the piano is now nothing like what it was when we started with it. Press it again. That's so bizarre. Just so bizarre. And I love it. And change it again. It's turning into like a synthano. It's a piano with a synth behind it, strikeable. My computer is backing up to Time Machine. That very strange noise. It's all the weird noise I've got on Time Machine. Freeze dialog button. Paste button. Copy dialog. Save preset. Open preset manager. Next preset button. All right, let's go to a next preset. Current preset. NY Steinway default button. Oh, the felt. 
Let me turn my mic down for this so you can hear a nice felt preset. It's quite nice. Octave zero. I like a lot of these felt presets and a lot of these pianos. Um, I don't know if I said, by the way, I've got Piano Tech Professional, so that's the one with the 21 instruments, plus I added a few uh, using the PTQs that are on the Piano Tech website for free. Uh, that's how we have the tubular bells and things like that. So yeah, I've got all the 21 instruments and all the possible parameters that it's possible to edit. Now, from what I understood um, from talking to the guys at Modart, they said that I think uh, the note editing is not yet accessible um, they have to work on it because it's quite a complicated area to do. But like I said, this is a first release and it is kind of amazing, the stuff that we can already do. So please don't hate them for that. Um, the fact that I can do so much already and have been able to save my own preset and distribute that preset to people I want to try it out with, all without using complete control if I didn't have to, is amazing. Simply amazing. It's an FXP and anyone who's used to FXPs from Windows, you know how to load those. So you can load it from within the Pianotic interface, or if your DAW supports FXPs because you're using the VST version, you should be able to uh, to load that. And there will be a link to my ONJ's Jazz preset uh, link in the video description if you want to try it out. Previous preset help button, options button. So let's look at this options page now. Uh, the one page I won't show within options is the about because it has my address and serial number, so I don't really want to show that. But let's look at the options and see what we can see. Window, MIDI, radio button, image. MIDI, radio, image, perf, selected, radio button. So we're in the perf. This item has no help tag. Doesn't have a help tag, but when we go over beyond these radio buttons, you will see what happens. In general image, about, image, CPU identification. So it tells us our CPU. Virtual Apple at 2.50 gigahertz, M12 slash S0 slash F6, X8. So the reason that it's virtual Apple is because I'm running Logic in Rosetta mode, because I need to do that for a lot of my plugins. Complete control requires it. So I've been running that in Rosetta for a while. I'm on an M1 Mac, 8, giga, uh, eight gigs of RAM, by the way, the uh, default MacBook Pro. CPU frequency, 2400 megahertz. So it's running underneath the clock of 3.2 gigs, uh, because the emulated one does that. Performance index, 76, 98 text. I don't know what this means, by the way, and I don't think it has help. This item has no help tag. Help text. Audio load. Oh, there's a help thing next to it that doesn't read, but that's all right. Multicore rendering, selected, toggle button. CPU overload detection, selected, toggle button. So these are the sorts of things, by the way, that you wouldn't necessarily be able to do in Control-Z for any plugin because the buttons that would appear for controls would be parameter, automatable parameters. But stuff like this, which actually are menus and flyouts and pop-outs and what have you, would not work in Control's view in this way. So having it like this, uh, editor view, and having Juice accessible now is honestly amazing to see. And I hope you will all agree. Internal sample rate, 48,000 hertz, collapsed pop-up button, host sample rate, 48,000 hertz. So this is about the sample rate of the host and the internal sample rate of Pianotech, which can go up to 192 kilohertz, I think. Buffer size, 128 samples, maximum polyphony, 48 collapsed pop-up button. 48 notes polyphony, can decrease or increase that. Current polyphony, zero. Zero. So if I play, will that increase? Let's see. Current 15. Yes, it does. Current 14. It's going down. Current 14. All right. Current 47. 47. Yes, so that works. So I'm not sure why the chord thing on pay on the outside didn't work. This reads fine. Uh, I may mention this. 47. 44. Yeah, it's going down. All right. Close, MIDI, RAMI, PER, IMAGE, INSTRUMENTS, RADIO BUTTON. I want to show you this instruments page. This is quite interesting. Select image, in, about image, inst you can do instrument lists, group. So let's interact with you. In instrument, Steinway D, group. And if I look at this... In Stein, Steinway D is featured in many recording studios and concert halls worldwide. This instrument pack is authorized by Steinway Sons and included both the New York and Hamburg variants, providing the famous Steinway concert piano sound with superb musical expression. More text. So that is, each of these instruments has a little help text about it when you interact with it. And this, you may have had to VOCR uh, or use your convenient OCR on Windows or NVIDIA's OCR to read this previously, assuming you could have read it at all, and that is... Uh, questionable at best, isn't it? 
but the fact that all this is now accessible to your screen reader is a bonus. Out of stack time way B group. So you can pick any of these and just read them and there's all sorts in here because I've got the 21 instruments so there's lots to look through. Let's look at the K2 because this is a specific piano for Pianotech as far as I understand it according to the text. In K2, the K2 Grand Piano was created for Pianotech 5. Thanks to its 2.11 meters, 6 feet 11 inches cabinet, the sound quality is magnificent, bringing a perfect balance of warmth, brilliance and clarity. Enjoy its dark, woody character in a musical all-round environment more text. So there's a lot of info um, about all these instruments. And when you purchase yours um, from the Pianotech website and you, you know, you want to know about it, uh, once you've got it installed, you can get to this same dialogue and have a look around. And it's just so interesting to me anyway. Um, yeah. Out of U4 group. There's loads. So it comes out, out of, of instrument. You can download some extra instruments, PTQ files from your user area. The PTQ files are stored in this folder text. So it's telling you that you can download more instruments, which I did, the bells um, and... I can't remember. I got two of them. There were there were two there, I think, or three. Install new PTQ file button. So this will open a dialog where you can browse to a new instrument. Um, I don't have any at the minute, so I can't. But the fact that you can do it is cool. So we'll go back. Install new in image close button. Okay, so be warned, uh, with the voiceover in Logic at least, if, if I go back uh, across the group from the window, it goes to the close button. It bypasses all the radio buttons. So... Uh, be, be warned about that. You just have to go to the right to find them again. MIDI, image, perf, image, instruments, image, general, image, about, radio button. So that show you general. In close button. Ah, see, I went to the left and it, it lost my place again. So let me go back. MIDI, per, in, image, general, radio, selected. Basically, just don't miss the radio button you want. Because if you go to the left, it's... Image, close button. Gonna lose it like that. So just be warned. MIDI, dis blank, display chords, selected, oh, close, MIDI, per, in, 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 general, in, about, image, interface, mag, slight interface magnification. Slightly larger, 120% button. Display tool tips, select language, English button. So you can change the language. Display chords, selected, toggle button. Outline focused item, toggle button. Edit keyboard shortcuts, button, button. Highlight pressed keys. So there are keyboard shortcuts within the interface. And if you're loading Pianotech as a standalone, uh, which you can, because you can record stuff in there and all sorts of thing, things like that, uh, in the menu bar for Pianotech 7, there are um, keyboard shortcuts and you can learn about them there. But because we're in the plugin, I'm not certain of how to get to those keyboard shortcuts easily. So if you want to know what they are, because they should work within the plugin itself, let me see. Yeah, it does. For example, I pressed the N key, which I know is also next preset. But if you wanted to learn about these within the plugin interface, I'm not sure how you'd do it. Maybe you can do it from here. I haven't actually looked, to be fair. Top level folder for presets and add-ons. And this is the preset folder. Browse button, reset button, home, library slash application support slash modded slash pianotech slash collapsed pop-up button. And on Windows, I'd imagine that's probably your app data roaming. Um, so it, the, on the Mac, it's uh, your local library folder, so tilde library. So that's where you could put your FXPs that you download. So if you download the FXP from this uh, video description, um, the ONJ's Jazz, and you want to put it in there, then that's how you're going to find it. Well, that's that's where you need to put it so it can be seen by Pianotech and then you can browse to it. The user presets, FXP files, are stored in the presets folder. The add-ons, PTQ files, are stored in the add-ons folder text. So that's telling you a bit about that. So that's the options dialog in a nutshell. Um, not all of it, but some of it. Close button. And we'll close that. Untitled. Options. Um, button. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. View. I don't know what preset we're actually got, so let's have a look. Keyboard, green keyboard, out of oh, keyboard, no. chord, note edit, more, help, pre current preset, NY Steinway Model D button. Okay, just the default Steinway D, I think. So let me talk about why I made my preset then. Because if I could find, and, and I will try, the Steinway D Jazz, um, it did not have a quick cutoff like this. Uh, sorry, like I would like I would want from a jazz preset. So I based it on uh, other pianos in my libraries. We're not talking about those today, but I did base it on another piano in my collection. Um, I wanted it to have a short uh, note cutoff, and this doesn't. So let me try and get back into the, the preset manager. Next preset, open preset, open pre close preset. See if I can get to the Steinway D Jazz. Preset list in NY, NY Steinway D Felt, NY Steinway Model D, NY Steinway D Classical, NY Steinway D Jazz Recording, Outline Row. All right, let's try that then. Let's close the preset manager. Can I press escape? NY, out, close, close presets, nope. man, open, save, pre open, next preset, right. current preset, NY Steinway D Jazz Recording button. It did, so... For me, that's the, the note release is far too long for a jazz kind of thing. If I'm going to do any kind of jazz thing, I would want it to be shorter. And since it's similar, but not quite, but it's based on the same piano, I go up to mine.
I need that kind of shortness of staccato sound, and I really, really like that sound uh, because that's what I'm used to from playing actual Steinways and things. So I don't know who programmed the jazz or why they, they programmed it in this way, and I'm certainly not telling them how to do their job, but I'm surprised that the the note release is as long as it is. But yeah, you know, uh, that's why I made mine and I'm going to distribute it because I thought maybe people would benefit from having that kind of a sound. Because as far as I could tell, and I went through all the five or six, how many pre hundred presets in Piano Tech, I couldn't find one exactly like that. And that's the whole point, isn't it? The fact that the interface is accessible means I can make one and then share it and I'm happy. Next preset button. So yes, that is some of that. Let's see. Uh, let's see about this sound recording button. Can I still find it? I did see it once. Keep call zero. Pa pedal, 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 zero D limiters, extra set velocity. Sound, sound, sound recording. There it is. Close sound recording panel. Let's see what's in here then. Top view group, front view group, help button. Mic level compensation selected toggle button. So let's read some help text, shall we? When level compensation is switched off, the volume of each microphone decreases with the distance to the piano. Mic delay compensation selected delay toggle compensation. button. When delay compensation is switched off, the delay of each microphone depends on the distance to the piano. All right, so if I turn it off. Whole different sound for some reason. Um, the right one. It just sounds different. Selected. Put it back on. <laughs> Mic one, U87 cardio button. And here's where you can change the Logic different Pro mics. Now. Sorry, I pressed J without meaning to. This item has no help tag. So if I click on this mic. Perfect Omni. Perfect Omni. Perfect figure eight. U87 Omni. U87 Cardio. U87 figure eight. DPA 4007. So let's change these to DPAs, okay? It'll do VO space to select that. Mic one, DPA 4007 button. Mic one, mic switch, selected toggle button. Mic two, U87 Cardio button. So let's not have an out of phase weird match thing. Let's go put this back to, what is the first one? DPA T7? Mic, mic 1, DPA 4007 button. Okay, DPA 4007. Mic 2, U87 card. So DPA that as well. C4, DPA 4011. DPA 4007. Mic 2, DPA 4007 button. All right, then there are other mics as well. Mic 2, mic switch. Mic 3, Omni button. Mic 3, mic switch. Selected toggle button. And you can tell that they're toggled, they're, they're turned on, so it says selected when they're on. Mic 4, Omni button. Mic 4, mic switch. Selected toggle button. Mic 5, Omni button. Mic 5, mic switch. Top minus 1 dB. Mic 1, level 1, vertical slider. And then you get all the levels for all these things. There's just so much you can change. It's crazy. Zero is. Mic 1, delay 1, minus 9 dB. Mic 2, level 1, vert plus 20.0 mis. Minus 12 dB. Plus 50.0 mis. Mic 3 Somebody on a video, and because they didn't explain exactly what they did, um, managed to get this sounding piano, this piano, to, or not this piano, but a piano in piano tech to be kind of off to the left in a room uh, using binaural. And I couldn't work out exactly what they did, so I can't duplicate it here, unfortunately. I'd love to show you how, uh, but I, could, I tried uh, after watching the video, but I, I was unable to really do that. But uh, let me see. This is currently set for, I think, stereo instead of binaural. I can change it if I can remember where to do that. Hang on. Close top view, front view, group, top close sound recording, close sound record, velocity, sound, re sound recording. There's two sound In recording button. buttons, and that's the thing. I don't know why there are two called exactly the same thing. Binaural. Stereophonic. Monophonic. Monophonic. Binaural. All right, so we'll binaural click on button. that instead. Different sound. Sound recording. So we button. go back to the second sound recording button. Close sound recording panel. And now things are a bit different, I think. Top view, front view, help, but microphones recording, toggle button. Binaural recording, selected, toggle button. 2.00. Stereo width, slider. 340 meter slash S. Sound speed, slider. Okay, the speed of sound. You can change the speed of sound. Interesting. Speed of sound in the air. 342. Binaural microphones recording, toggle button. Microphones recording. What is that? This mean? item has no help. Binaural recording, selected, toggle button. Okay, so I'm going Microf guessing... Selected. Selected. Okay, so I'm guessing that was changing. Okay, I could have done it from there as well. I didn't know. My help button, front view group. So let's interact with some of these. I haven't shown any in here. In front view, head X equals plus 0 0.620 meters, Y equals minus 0 0.360, MZ equals 1.300 meters, image. Hear all that complicated business. Um, I don't think I can change this stuff. If I click it. Head X equals plus Z, lid position equals 1.001, image. So these are images not buttons or checkboxes or anything like that. 
So I'm not 100% sure what that does. Lid positioning out of top view, group top int, view. head x sequence plus 0 0.603 meters, y equals minus 0 0.360, mz equals 1.305 meters, image. Okay, images again. Head down, lid position, e, lid position, e, out of close sound recording panel button. Close sound close recording sound panel. Record. So how do you change the binaural stuff? Is this drag only? Not sure. 302, not micro, help, front view, group. It might well be that you can only drag these parameters. Top close sound recording um, panel. I will investigate further after the video. Um, but yeah, you can change it to a binaural, but what can you do beyond that? Uh, not sure. But at least the, the stereo stuff is very accessible and you can adjust the volumes and levels and what have you of all that stuff. So that's pretty cool too. Sound recording, but velocity panel group. Sound in oil, but design panel group. In design 1.10. Impedance, smudder, out voicing panel voicing group panel. in 0 0.30. Hammerhard, yeah, we'll the out that. tuning panel group tuning panel. in 440 hertz button. Okay, the tuning panel. Microtuning button, equal temperament button, 1.00. Unison width slider, 1.1. In order to adjust the timbre, a skilled piano tuner introduces small tension variations between the three strings of each note unison. Experiment with it yourself by gently changing the unison width. That is the difference between the lowest and the highest frequency within each unison. Okay, so let's mess with this then. In slider. I'll do the same as I did before. Quick nav on. Quick nav on. Speech muted. Speech muted and... Adjusting to the right, by the way. Haven't got all the way there yet. Now I have. Chorusy. And now I've taken it all the way to the left. It sounds so unnatural, doesn't it? It's weird. Speech and 0, 0.00 unison width slider. I can't remember what it was uh, before I adjusted it. Now I must say 1.00 octave stretching slider. Ah, oh, octave stretching. Does that mean in one point? Well, I think it does. One point one three. Slightly odd octaves. You'd be hard pressed to tell, I think, but. Out of slide. It is quite usual to stretch octaves on a piano. How much they should be stretched is a matter of taste. 1.50. Direct sound duration slider. Direct sound duration. After modifying unison frequency or reshaping hammers, you may need to also modify the direct sound duration. Adjust it to your own tastes. 1.5. I love that these help tags are just there because direct sound duration you could just completely slider. get lost. 440 hertz button. Uh, sorry, I was pressing control while talking, so it sounded like the speech was broken. It's not. It's right. Microtuning button. Close micro. I've got to mess with this. By the way, I've never been in here. Temperament button. Stretch. String tension button. Detune button. Reset button. Keyboard mapping button. 100. 200. This item has 300, 400, 500, 600, 7, 8, 9, 1, 1,000, 2 slash. Sent values. Button. Button. 2 Ooh. slash 1. Some blank buttons. 1,100. Interesting. 2 button. Bu value. Sent. So edit text in. Key map row group. 1 slash 1. Select diapason key button, C3 button, dash button, plus button, number zero button, key map row group, 100. Select diapason key button, number one button. Oh my word. Edit 400, C4, number zero, select two slash, key map B3, key map row group, B number, select di number 11 button. Okay, I thought we were going to see all 88 keys for a minute. I was going to get very worried. Select 1000, key map row, BB3. Number 10 button, close my temp stretch, 1.13, NAT button, temperament button, temperament. string tension button, detune button. I click on the G Logic G Pro has button. new window. Oh, there's a reset a button. New window. Detune button. And just see what that. Piano Tech Seven dialog. Window choose and piano semicolon semicolon untitled untitled tracks untitled se piano Tech Seven from Logic Pro current semicolon window two hundred. Okay. I Cle piano Tech Seven. What that is. Toolbar bypass Never manual mind. choose applic engine note add morphing options help button. Oh, I think I came out of the window that I didn't want to come piano out. Of. Window choose piano detach piano piano det semi detach window. Note, ed note edit group note edit detach window button close button oh tracks group and Don't know what that's about previous preset button 
But yeah, I came out of the window that I didn't intend to come out of. So where was I? Uh, I was. Current next priest open. Save for copy to paste. Free run undo redo a slash a slash micro keyboard micro tuning panel group. It close mic temperament button stretch. What string tension button? Detune button. Reset button. Keyboard mapping button. One hundred. Two hundred. How do I? Three hundred. Micro tune. Close mic temperament button. Can I click this instead? Make equal temperament ellipsis. Equal. Pivot or Zarlino. Well temperament. Work master three. Flat. Mean tone. One mean tone. One slash three comma. Oh, these are temperament choices. Make e equal. Piano equal text sounds seven. really weird. Some things sound weird in equal temperament. Did it do it? Bypass toolbar I button. Juice application. Note more opt help pre current next open pre save preset. There are equal temperament presets in here and but copy dial paste but freeze dialogue random undo redo a slash a slash micro tuning panel temperament button. Yeah. Close micro click that. Tech stretch. String debt re keyboard one hundred, two hundred, three, four, five hundred. See, this is the joy of experimenting. Some of these sound quite bizarre, and I... I could just be being tricked as well, because... It may not have actually done it, but it's hard to tell, because when equal temperament is really equal, uh, it, it feels very weird to play non-equal temperament chording, and it just messes with your head a lot. 600. For hunt close temp stretch 1.13 nat button. Select the degree to which the octave tuning is stretched to accommodate string in homosity. Temperament select a temperament or a scarlet tuning file. Or a tuning file. Okay, so I clicked that, but it, I I just can't tell if it did it. Mean tone mean tone mean tone flat work made well tap zali pivot equal. I will piano tech seven do that. Maybe someone can see in the comments if it did it or not. Um, can't tell on the screen. 200. It is odd. Close, close button. Untie tracks. Group. Oop. Oh man. Tracks. Lost my window again. Piano tech seven. Stay with me, Duplicate. window. Okay, Piano tech seven. Juice applicant. More options. Look, ah oh, well. Morphing. Should we look at morphing? Let me get a preset up that plays nicely again. Right, what have we got? Up, current next pre open. Next current preview. Current preset. NY Steinway D chamber recording button. Okay. Let's look at the morphing stuff because I have looked a bit about this uh, at this and it's quite interesting. No morphing slash layers morphing. button. Close morphing morphing layers button. Morphing button. Layers. Lay this preset is a simple preset without morphing recipe or layers. Please choose which one to create text. Okay. Layers. So I'm going button. to choose layers. Close morphing slash add another layer but clear button. Random button. Freeze but layer one group. What's layer In one? layer one group. 100. Layer weight one slider. Mute layer button. Solo layer but MIDI channel button. MIDI transpose but NY Steinway D chamber recording button. All right. Edit layer button. That's what we expect. Layer menu. Remove layer but text. Text out. Layer two group in the fifth. Mute layer button. Solo layer but mute layer. So MIDI ch MIDI track. Please select edit layer. Please select a preset button. All right. NY Steinway D chamber recording. Recent presets. Tubular bells original. Remember human eye. Grab NY NY Steinway D classic. NY 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 O N J NY NY Steinway NY 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 I'm just skimming through NY 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 Steinway D classic because it's showing you only the NYs I don't NY 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 Steinway D Grand Steinway D New York window I remember you tubular bells original to change it by using just normal up and down arrows okay NY view all presets and remember you tubular bells original remember humanized remember humanized button Okay, well this will work then. Edit layer, remember MIDI trans, MIDI chat, solo la mute layer button, 50. Layer weight 2, sl 50. La out, layer 1, freeze, layer in, 100, mute layer, 100. Layer weight 1, slider. Right, what is this? This item has no help tag. Mute layer button, solo layer, MIDI channel, MIDI trans, NY Steinway, edit layer, but layer menu button. Remove layer, text, text. 100, in slide, 99, 90, 85. I'm trying to see if this is like a volume or something. 80, because it didn't 71, have a help tag. 70, 6, 60, 50, 50, 50 49. An interesting sound. Out, out, out layer one group. Turn up the layer two. Help, but help, but layer in fifty. In fifty. Turn this up. Ninety-two. If it is even. Yeah, it seems to be a volume, <clears throat> so I can. I 
don't know what that is, but I kind of like it. I have to remember that. Octave minus one. Anyway, as you were, <laughs> you can have a lot of fun with this stuff. Um, all right, so we've got layers. Out of 92. Layer that way two. That's fairly easy to set up as well. Um, again, this is the kind of thing that you can't do from controls view or complete control because you just don't have access to enough controls to do so. Out of layer one. And it would be hard to set it up anyway uh, because the pages are dynamic and changing and yeah, you just have a hard time. It wouldn't work. Freeze button. Random button. Okay. What happens if I now randomize this sound with the layers? Okay, I got that. How did that get that from that? Octave zero. Free random button. I like it. So it's randomizing the sound and the layer. <laughs> it's fun you can come up with, I tell you. And you see the sound ends there, so... What I think it's doing actually is picking two different random presets and only that. Which is no bad thing actually. You can you can get some great sound just by doing that. Okay, we've got a harp. Because it does have a modeled harp as well and another piano. So I guess I can go Free layer, layer, two, layer one group. Oh it is. It is okay. So it I can look at these and it will tell me what the presets is changing already. In layer one, mute so MIDI channel, MIDI Celtic edit Celtic harp dreamy button. Yeah. Out help but layer two in MIDI channel solo layer mute layer but MIDI transfer and edit layer and Petrov 275 button. So these are the, the things it's chosen. So every time I click random, it's changing two random sounds Out, together. Random button. I like it. You can get some. I hear another harp and piano combination. Okay, so there's a steel, there's a tongue drum or something in there. What we got? Freeze. I'm kind of curious. I have two, to know now. Layer one in tech. Remove layer. Layer edit layer. Steel drum. Natural button. Okay. Out, layer, help button. And help button. Layer in tech. Layer edit layer. Hand pan. Sustain. Mallets button. So it put two of the similar type of sounds together in one, which actually is a kind of thing I would have done anyway. So that's rather cool. It does have a, a model steel drum and a modified uh, modeled hang drum as well. So rather cool. Out of layer. But yes, that's a bit about layering. You could get lost in this stuff for a long period of time. So Close just, yeah, do that. Add another layer, clear button. And you could add another layer. I don't know how many layers you can have altogether. Random button. But the fact that you can do it is cool. Clear, add another close morphing, morphing, morphing slash layer options, morphing note edit button. I don't think that this thing ships with any layered presets. I could be wrong. Maybe you're just supposed to Easter egg them and find them all yourself and have fun with them. But as far as I know, this thing does not ship with any layered presets. Note edit button. That'd be kind of cool if it did once. And the note editor I said I can't get into. Morphing so. slash options, help button. Like, I feel like I, I'll come to a stopping point here because you could just kind of look at all this for days and days, but I don't want to bore you. And I know sometimes that making this, I feel like if I'm just talking too much and boring myself, then I surely must be boring you, my audience. And that's the last thing I ever wanted to do. So what I'll do is I will just play you out on my own piano, or maybe this sound here, which was a happy accident, and I don't even need to use a sustain pedal. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a bit of both. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you stayed to the end, have yourself a little Pianotech cookie. And if you're going to be investing in Pianotech 7, uh, let me know in the comments. I'll be interested to know if this, this not walkthrough accessibility excitement has excited you in the way it did me when I first heard about it. I was like, I've got to get this. got to have it. got to have it right now. So I did. Um, but yeah, let me know. I'd be curious to know. And speak, oh, I guess I'll see you all next time. Um, <laughs> Like, subscribe, and share. That's all I'll say. Thanks for watching. Track 10 MJ's Jazz.